<laughs> Welcome to the Southampton Boat Show 2013. At the entrance to the boat show there were lots of little dinghies, uh, rowing boats and small yachts that were hand built. As you can see they have an amazing finish. This is an old fashioned and very elegant speedboat and this uh, was for sale for £16,000. Carvel, and this is uh, the other one, that's a clinker. And what they've done is the, the planks are riveted together. All oh, right. And then, as you see there, there's some um, their ribs, but their rivets are, are put on the same as they're going across. That's what we were just looking at, wasn't it? Yeah. That's not for sale. It was quite interesting <coughs> bringing my friend Robert along because he knows a lot more about these things than what I do. a lot of technical language that I just don't understand at all. I mean these, uh, these are interesting. One of these uh, rowing boats was based on a 100 year old design. Um, this is a this is a modern rowing boat, believe it or not. Somebody referred to it as an ugly duckling. Any lost property is taken to security control within the organizers area next to the Holiday Inn. The entrance area to the hotel is also the official meeting point. People on board it in order to hold her upright and make her um, dart along the water. If you can, if you can hold her upright, you you make her come out of the water so that only the keel is, is actually in the water. This grey and yellow dinghy uh, was inflatable. You could actually put it in the television. little bag at the back. There's me. Uh, <coughs> my hair's a bit of a mess. It was very windy. And my hair got blown around. Robert, not me. <laughs> Don't have to get that close. <laughs> um, what, who, do you mind explaining what you're doing here, please? Um, yes, I was brought here. I was deceived into thinking that uh, I had to come here today. All right. Uh, uh, my friend Robert, he forced me All at right. gunpoint to come here right. because he likes boats. However, I am like, having a good time. Do you like this boat? No, I don't like this one. I think this is quite cute. <laughs> this is a very powerful engine. It's 60 horsepower. 2,000 years ago, this would have equated to 60 horses pulling a boat on dry land. We were quite lucky on the afternoon that we went to the boat show the sun came out. Yeah. 
apparently the day before um, it was a washout, loads of rain and uh, people didn't go to a lot of the outdoor exhibits. These were some of my favourite motor cruisers. Uh, we go inside one of these in a minute. The entry level one started around £100,000, which isn't bad really for something like that. Yeah, good winters in. Yeah. That one comes, that's manual. This this one comes with a power socket, an electric motor as well. Yeah. So, and these, these can be powered up as well. You can have these electric as well. Yeah. And um, and I thought we were doing quite well, but they realised there was something not quite right. And what, it, what my dad was saying was that we were doing 19 knots, yeah. but the wind and the current from the sea was doing 17 and a half knots. Yeah, so you just, you just still, still, yeah. Yeah, so we were only yeah. doing like one and a half knots. Yeah. <coughs> oh, right. Yeah. yeah it's possible, yeah. Yeah. You get into those, you, you get into those situations, but yeah, that's right. That's when you're right, here's the inside of one of the yachts. One of the berths. Kitchen sink in the galley. Cooker. Desk, desk there with a laptop, room for a laptop, and another one of the bedrooms. Dining table and leather chairs. Very nice. And here's the uh, toilet uh, with its own shower. <laughs> 